Unfortunately, not the best morning stepping outside, especially if you live along and west of 35 and the 45 corridor. That's where we have some visibility issues, some dense fog. Navarro County, you've got Corsicana now down to zero miles of visibility. Same story in Stephenville, barely above that in Mineral Wells, Bowie, Gainesville at about a mile, and then Denton now reporting in at less than a mile. So dense fog advisories through 10 a.m. for all of the counties that you see highlighted here. Again, the 45 corridor, the 35 quarter areas farther to the west. Temperatures are at or below freezing in parts of these counties, though. Denton County included in this freezing fog advisory, which means icy spots can develop on those elevated surfaces because the temperature is at freezing. Now, as we go throughout this afternoon, we're expecting more cloud cover to the west, so temperatures are likely only going to get into the low and mid 50s there as compared to areas farther to the east, able to get into the mid and upper 50s. But overnight tonight, I've got a 90% chance for rain. So almost everyone is going to see rain and at times some heavy rain will be possible. This moves through really after midnight for most of North Texas, but there will still be some lingering rain uh, around four o'clock in the morning tomorrow, mainly to the east of 35. Once we make our way into the afternoon, we should be able to start to see things dry out. So temperatures at 56 tomorrow. We've got a nice weekend forecast and then some stronger storms possible for Monday of next week.